what is up y'all it's been quite a while since y'all see my face i got some red shit going on over here i was rubbing on my neck and i got sensitive skin so now i look like i got a fucking rash but anyways the point of my video is i went to the store with the intention to get some stuff for my apartment but it didn't turn out that way i might do a tour of my apartment when i get it furnished and hooked up but i might not I don't know. I've become very private. I'm like a new Angie. I'm not the Angie y'all seen a couple of years ago that was on Snapchat every fucking day and very transparent. When my brother passed away, it just did a lot to me and caused me to just like go into the show. And so like, I'm just doing my thing. So anyways, I didn't get stuff for my apartments. What I ended up doing was getting stuff for myself. A lot of times we think that we're too old to embrace our inner child and i had to tell this lady this in the aisle as i was looking at the hello kitty stuff in five below like why do y'all gotta put hello kitty stuff in five below because like now <laughs> i'm gonna start that hello kitty collection that i always wanted but she was like looking at something and saying that she was too old and i was like you are never too old girl and she was like you know what you're right and then as I'm buying this stuff, I'm starting to feel guilty. And I was like, why am I feeling like this? Like I gotta stop feeling guilty because like I deserve to have these things. Like I work hard, I work every day and I deserve to get myself stuff because I barely get myself anything. And I had children at a young age. My first child, I had him when I was 17. And so like I always was buying stuff for my children all the time and got in the habit of doing that and not really buying anything for myself and now that my children are grown it's like I still feel the same way and I need to like deprogram from that feeling because I deserve to have all the things that I want to have I am taking that step to deprogram although I felt guilty today I still took the initiative to buy the things that I wanted to buy and I wanted to show them to you all because you know what this message is for somebody somebody that's afraid to embrace their inner child or that said the same thing that the lady in the store was saying I'm too old for this honey I went and found me a whole hello kitty bathroom set on Timu mm -hmm. okay I'm decorating my bathroom with hello kitty okay I am still a child at heart and I always am going to be a child. Like I don't want to fucking grow up. Fuck growing up. You get stressed out and you become bitter and angry all the motherfucking time. I don't want to be a fucking grown up. Okay. I want to be a Toys R Us kid forever. All right. So with that being said, let me show y'all my new Hello Kitty Lego collection. All right. They're all still in the boxes. Little by little, I'm going to put them together. My sister started putting Legos together. Our dad just died in January. So she says that it has calmed her and, you know, it's very therapeutic. So I was like, shit, let me go on and try it out. I go look at Lego sets online and I see that they have Hello Kitty ones at Five Below. So I'm thinking I have to buy them offline, but I go into Five Below today and see them in the store and I just went fucking ham. So with all that said... I know I just talk too much. I'm gonna show y'all my collection, okay? Oh my god, y'all. So here it goes. I got the Hello Kitty race car build set. And all these little race car sets come with the figure inside too. So the My Melody one, the Tuxedo Sam one, the Karami one. Then I got this Hello Kitty campground build set. And a Hello Kitty Boba Tea Shop build set. And a Hello Kitty Carnival build set. Okay, then I got the Hello Kitty block figure. The My Melody block figure. The Cinema Row block figure. And the Pom Pom Perrin block figure. I am so geek, y'all. I can't wait to do them. 